Hello, and welcome back to the last episode of my Great Britain Conquest on European War 4 with low tier units only. Every intro I do for this is just a fucking mouthful. <laughs> but I really don't have any plan, I just want to send a few units over, take out Spain and, you know, these parts. And then just sweep through the Balkans. And uh, yeah, hit Turkey. See, I told you, it's not really much of a plan, but it'll work. So this turned out to not be as challenging as I thought that would be. You know, I thought low tier units would make this absolute hell. But no, it was actually, like I said, pretty damn easy. So if you guys have any ideas for challenges that I can do, go ahead and tell me. Because I would like to spice up these games a bit before I move on to European War 6, which, yes, has been confirmed. You can stop spamming me on Twitter. I have gotten quite a few messages or tweets about it. Yes, I do know it's coming out. Which, it is weird for them to uh, announce that, well, it's going to exist without even saying anything about a trailer. Because, so far with the EasyTech releases, I haven't known about them until the trailer you know, comes out. So it is weird that they would go ahead and say it, but I'm just assuming because of that, that it'll take longer for them to make. But that is just an assumption. So I probably do still have time to do a couple more conquests on European War 4. I do understand how, like, say for a game like Demise of Nations, a low tier unit challenge would have been pretty hard. But I think the reason why this was so easy, honestly, is because of my allies. Oh! That was all Spain had left. Lovely. I thought they had a lot more, but nope. Anyway, like I was saying, my allies did contribute a ton in this conquest, especially with France. France stood no chance. Uh, poor them. Oh well. But, I feel like there are challenges that would work for this game. Like, I did talk on Discord, and somebody mentioned declaring war on all of my allies, which I can't really do, like, all at once. How it would have to work is I declare a war on like my neighboring allies, I get through them and then go to the person, you know, they were neighbors with. But it can definitely be done. It just won't be as challenging as it would be if I declared all at the same time. Say on a game like Demise, and Nations, uh, Hearts of Iron 4, stuff like that. So if that is something that you would like to see, go ahead and tell me, because I will really take any suggestions that you guys have. My units have finally finally made their way to Greece, and just like in real life, absolutely nobody's fucking stopping Sadly, I didn't actually get to take Istanbul. I'm a Polish unit and got it, which I, w I won't read too much into. But either way, Istanbul's been taken, and the only units and land that the Ottomans have left is all in Turkey, and there's really nothing there on this map. So I say the conquest is just done. There's no way for them to come back from this. Because angry Russian men and Englishmen armed with literal sticks are going to come and take over Turkey. Who would have guessed that the Turkish would have fell so easily? But yeah, it's happening. Taking a final look at the map here, I think Europe is pretty fucked. I'm, I'm just being honest, this is absolutely disgusting. And somehow he fucked up the Balkans even more than they already were. It's about time to go ahead and just, just end this conquest, end its suffering. So take out this last Ottoman ship. And... Let's go ahead and do it. There you have it. <laughs> that was a fun match, I will say. It was 18-10, round 78. Uh, that's not too bad, considering most conquests on here. Alright, it was 1810. I was about to question it, because somewhere in my mind, I don't know why, but I thought that it was 1800. There's not even an 1800 option. And the mod was updated. Now it's called the Post-Revolution mod, instead of Era of Enlightenment. And there do appear to be more conquests. I don't think 1916 was on here before. Or, hell, maybe it was. I don't know. I need to go back and look at my mod review of it, and see what all has changed. But I hope that all of you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.